What's up, YouTube? It's Hello Scott. And today we're pretty much going to be talking about, let's be honest, Caitlyn is better than Angel. Let's be honest, she outclasses her. But that's not the entire point of this video. The point of this video is, I'm not going to lie, that's the point of the video. But let's pretty much start talking about Angel first, right? So people said like, oh, she faked her injury and all that stuff. And it's not real and she only faked her injury because she figured she wasn't gonna win the rookie of the year race anyway so what's the point many people may think that i really didn't like angel reese at first after the whole uh her cheering after caitlin got pushed on the ground by kennedy but i think she really did injure it let's this may be like a small thing or whatever but i'll just i'll just show you all the clip fourth quarter lead to end a seven game losing so that's streak. one thing another clip you probably you guys probably can't see that this well but i'll show so maybe she's been struggling since oh i could just zoom it in but so whatever you, you guys get i do think she really is hurt and you know maybe it's a little bit of both she was hurt and she figured, okay, Kayla got two triple doubles. I'm not winning rookie of the year. Let's forget it. Or it got to the point where it was unbearable to play. So she just, she just said, forget it. Regardless, even though I didn't really like her in the past, I kind of 50 50 on her right now. I really do think she's injured. I don't think she's faking. I really do think she's injured. Because otherwise, why stop your double double streak? Maybe she could have got 30 double doubles in a row or however many she was close to. But let's end it off by saying, you know, her records. So pretty much she had the most single rebounds in the single season, most consecutive double doubles in NBA history, highest rebounds per game in the single season. But now she's out for the season with injury. Now I will say a lot of people use the fact that well, what's the best way I could say it? Andrew Reese is good, but the only thing she's like really good at like talented like gifted is at rebounding she's not really great at anything else well okay she's fantastic at rebounding a rod mid-level she's going to be the best rebounder in WNBA history no doubt I'm not going to lie and she's a good defender besides that she's mediocre mediocre or worse at everything else she's mediocre at best at everything else and that's probably being it's probably being generous she's really a four out of ten or worse at everything else and that's i consider five out of ten mediocre but you guys get the point she's our only two valuable assets are defense and rebounding basically dennis robin basically dennis robin so that's just the way i look at it i do not think she's better than caitlin i think caitlin outclasses her now let's go to right here right so I don't even know how many records Caitlin broke. I'm going to slowly scroll down and you guys can like just basically, you know, maybe slow the video down or whatever, but it's just unfathomable. And I saw this thing to where it said she broke 50 plus records or recently broke a WNBA and NBA record for being one of the three rookies to win player of the month. So that just says alone that she's very special and remember guys she's a rookie so you guys can slow that down scroll down go search up Caitlin Clark records yourself scroll down I'm assuming she's probably broken like 70 records by now so I mean let's be honest how can you really compare the two right like we know Caitlin is better did that make Angel Reese horrible no I mean she's not that good a scorer but even K how come when Kayla gets a double double is nothing but when Angel Reese get one it automatically makes her as good as Angel Wilson I don't get it I just don't understand and here's the funny thing to even prove my point that Kayla just is better she's now in MVB talks do I think she's gonna win it no I think she's probably what in third place and that says a lot itself where is Angel in the MVP race before injury, where was she in the MVP race? Nowhere. Right? I think Aja should win the um, MVP. 
but if she's in MVP talks and now there's even people starting to oh well since Angel's out let's compare Aja to Caitlyn what does that mean what does that mean oh yeah Caitlyn is so bad her turnover is so, are so bad now she's getting compared to Aja Wilson so they can find another way to down talk what does that mean if they compare LeBron to Michael Jordan what does that mean if they're in the same conversation what does that mean exactly so that means she, obviously she's a threat so you guys could talk about Caitlyn's turnovers all you want okay I'm, I'm gonna give y'all guys this right please debunk this say something about this please try to break this down right Angel's best feat is rebounding second best probably defense Caitlyn's best feature is between three points and assists is one of those two let's just take their best two so let's have what's Caitlyn better at assist or three pointers see that's a hard question but you know what let's let's just say Caitlyn's assist and Angel's rebounding right let's take away both of their best attributes or you can switch it you can switch however you want Angel is now useless if she cannot get a double double she's useless Caitlyn on the other hand she can still get a double double right without assist there is no way there is no way Angel would ever get a double double without rebounds but Caitlyn can still get a double double without assist she's I'm pretty sure she's done it a couple times so Caitlyn she's probably a, an above average rebounder because she's six foot but I'm just letting you guys know you take away both of their best stats Caitlyn is still useful Caitlyn's still useful you take where her assist she's still useful take where her three points she's still useful Caitlyn can get a double double without the three point line and Caitlyn can get a double double without assist but Angel cannot get a double double without rebounds so Angel is damn near one dimensional so do with that information what you will and I already know the next argument since I pretty much debunked that Angel's only really good at one or two things oh well uh caitlin her turnovers and all that stuff what's the okay anything else negative besides her turnovers because if you compare stat to stat we know who, if you compare stat to stat right now look up the stats the only thing literally the only thing she's beating caitlin at is rebounds caitlin even has more steals and blocks and angel is supposed to be the better defender all right so please explain that to me how is Angel the better defender but Caitlyn has more blocks than a power forward and more steals than the, suppo the supposed good defender and she only has more rebounds what does that mean please explain to me what that means because now even I'm getting confused okay so now you realize that saying Caitlyn has more turnovers and that's the only bad thing really can't help you in defense because it's, it's probably three four five bad things on Angel because she could she could barely hardly score to be honest with you and then to one Caitlyn's one bad thing all turnovers oh uh, let me guess your next argument is um what you call it Angel won a, a ring in college and Caitlyn didn't okay I thought we were talking about the WNBA so since we're not talking about the WNBA NBA anymore and now you want to talk about basketball okay cool let's talk about basketball so Kevin Durant let me let's okay let me ask you guys this question did you guys like like whether or not that he went to Golden State or whatever to get his two rings comment down below whether you liked it or not okay 95% of y'all probably said that you didn't like it right so now you guys don't like you know the super team thing cool now get this in college Angel's first two years she was in Maryland then she went to LSU to form a super team so what does that mean what does that mean that means you shouldn't like her championship if you don't like what Kevin Durant did oh okay so since it's NBA I can't compare it since it's NBA I can't compare it because it's men I can't compare it and it's different but I thought we we're talking about the WNBA if we we're talking about the WNBA why did you start talking about college you see how that works keep it WNBA or I will debunk Angel's whole ring she went to LSU to go make a super team because she didn't do it in Maryland if Angel never went to um if Angel never went to LSU she'd be irrelevant she probably wouldn't have got drafted if she didn't go to LSU let's be honest 
So do with that information what you will. If you want to talk about her college ring, I'll debunk it like I just did. So, hey, and then the thing is, Caitlyn beat both of those teams. She beat the uh, South Carolina the year before. And she beat LSU this year. So she has the ability to beat them. And she's the only superstar on our team. What does that mean? She's, that's basically 2018 LeBron versus Golden State Warriors. That's what that is. Okay. So that's the way I look at it. And let's talk about the final thing. Cheryl swoops right. Apparently, this is why she hates on Caitlyn so much. Right. So how in the... I don't understand. How is Caitlyn getting more blocks than power forwards? I see why she doesn't like her. I see why. So what is the only thing? Okay, she had a better field goal percentage. Okay, so you getting two steals a you get two steals a game. Okay, you're a damn good defender. Obviously, you're a damn good defender. So it seems like the only thing Cheryl was better than at Caitlin was defense. And she, okay, she's a she's more efficient. But does efficiency matter when the, the person scoring three more points than you? She let's be honest i'm assuming she was a power forward you're going to be by the rim okay cool so wait one minute i just realized something caitlin's rookie season stats is better than cheryl swoop's whole career i thought this was i thought this was rookie to oh my god no wonder she hates her i see why now they got Gil is trying to defend her on Gil's arena. Look, man, Gil, you my favorite NBA and you my favorite point guard in NBA history. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She she's hating on Caitlyn. You can say whatever you want, man. She's hating on Caitlyn. I just I just think she really does. So this is probably the reason why. I mean, just look at this. You played with nine times more games than her, and you've only you've only you only average less than one still more. And she averages more blocks than you. I see why. You didn't even get a block a game. So you know what? I, I see why you're hating. But that's pretty much it. Um. So. I mean, let's let's go back and glaze the records. I'm not gonna lie, cause some of y'all that still don't understand. Y'all just still don't understand. It's all right. Remember, she's a rookie. And conversations with. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's just another record, though. It don't matter. Oh, bro, she's the only rookie. She's the only rookie in WNBA history to get a triple double and she got another one. But people still say Andrew Reese's double doubles are better because she did it consistently. You do realize you have to get a, a double double to get a triple double, right? Where's Andrew Reese's double, triple double? I would argue that for the rest of Andrew Reese's career, she might get 10 triple doubles. She will, I don't think she'll ever get one triple double per season. Or she, or she might get one triple double. She might get one triple double a season if she's lucky. So, do with the information what you will. Just, I mean, look at these stats. The only thing y'all could, man, just, I don't know. There's never no congratulations. It's just talk turnover and college talk. They can't talk. They can't talk. About I mean, y'all look at this. This should be impossible. Like this should be impossible, man. But y'all keep hating. See, look, there's not even a hundred triple doubles, but there's, I, what is it's thousands, it's thousands of double doubles. So let me do this math for y'all, right? I did this one time. I did forget to do the math for you guys, but don't worry. I'll put a video in the top right where I already did the math in another video, basically saying who's better, Caitlyn or Angel. So if you want to see why clearly triple doubles are better than double doubles go ahead and click on that video look she has okay look it's another thing she has 14 double doubles we're not going to talk about that that's not good enough but caitlin has i mean angel reese has how many ever i guess because it's consecutive even if it was consecutive it's not more than angel so they wasn't gonna care and even if it was that this is the next thing they're gonna talk about turnover and college rings so it's whatever but I mean, what else can I say, bro? Caitlyn is clearly better. 
She's in MVP talks. She's getting rookie of the year. If you have any arguments, please argue me. I want you to argue me so I can make you look stupid. Please argue me. That's pretty much it. And I'll see y'all else on the next one. I'm please, please, please argue me. Please argue me. Please argue me. I'm begging you. Please argue.